Hey guys, let's eat. So Ricardo asked on YouTube for me to do a full day of what do I eat on a rest day and a training day. So let's just get into it. Let's talk about food. Love apples, really big apple. Two mandarin oranges. These are wasser crackers with peanut butter. And the key to the peanut butter is don't buy Jif that has weird oils and stuff in it. Peanuts only or peanuts and salt. Yum. This is the second coffee. I limit myself to two a day. They've got to be before 1 p.m., preferably by like 11, and that's it. Too much caffeine gets me not in a good place. Up next for the big mid-morning snack, it's a big piece of bread split down the middle with an avocado and some El Yucateca habanero hot sauce, the one that many people have seen and had. Oh, a lot of pink salt and black pepper. Next up before meeting, I have a snack because I don't want to get hangry and I'm going to get a water with me for the computer. Banana, almonds, pitted dates, love those. And if you're someone that struggles with portion control, put your food out on a plate. Don't eat from the bag. Even take an apple and cut it up. It's amazing how much bigger and more food it seems like when it's cut up and sliced. I don't really know why, but I've just noticed that. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's just me, but portion control is important. But when I say that, I don't mean starve yourself and go hungry. I never do that, it's a bad idea, in my opinion. With that thought, if you're trying to lose weight, yeah, you have to embrace hunger a little bit. But if you're at your weight, you should be feeling good all day. Not hungry, not overly stuffed, just right in the middle. A little fermented cabbage, grapes, kale, tomatoes, yeah. Peppers, peppers, hummus. I got so excited that I forgot to massage the olive oil on the kale. Damn. Chicken. Definitely red onion. Oh yeah. Half a can of garbanzo beans in there. And now we're gonna mix this all up and put salt and pepper on top. Mixing is crucial so that everything just gets really sauced up. So then if I was serving this to somebody, I would put it in the fridge to chill for about half an hour. So it's like really cold. This is just for myself. So I'm going to eat it because the chickpeas, when they're room temperature, not as good as if it's all totally cold. I think having different textures, crunchy peppers, crunchy onions, then like the kale and then the chicken soft and the tomatoes kind of burst. That's important. All I do is olive oil, salt and pepper. You don't need a salad dressing with weird stuff in it. Don't ruin your salad like that. And then the hummus and i would usually put an avocado on but i ate an avocado earlier i would put an avocado on that adds more texture it covers everything just makes it really awesome hope you enjoy okay after a salad i often like a little like carby something thicker like bread got some from whole foods i would love bakery bread but it's not convenient where i'm at right now because then it would be just flour salt and water this is wheat flour water sour starter wheat bran, sea salt, and whole wheat flour. So basically that, uh -huh. just a couple different types of flour. No sugar added, no dairy, no et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna have this little big heel, and then this should hold me over till dinner. No, <laughs> I was in by the bike stuff and some of the ride candy fell into my hand and damn, it happens. We're back in the kitchen to make dinner. Let's have some grapes while we do it. I'm just gonna do some spaghetti cause I'm kind of tired today and I need carbs. I'm lifting and riding tomorrow. We've got the angel hair with some olive oil and salt and pepper. That's it, let's go. Oh, and I had two pieces of bread with those grapes when I was making this. Carb life. So yeah, that's the day of a rest day. It's a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. I'm definitely eating and shifting my diet towards carbs before a ride and lift the next day. And I was gonna eat salmon, and if I had eaten the salmon, I probably would have had more fruit, maybe a little bit more bread, maybe some more wasser crackers, just make sure I have enough carbs for the next day. Don't really need to go crazy. I'm not carb loading, but I definitely don't wanna wake up and feel like I didn't eat enough carbs the night before. So let's get into a ride day. I'm gonna have a few dates and a couple scoops of peanut butter. I don't really want a full oatmeal. I'm going to the gym, don't wanna be bloated. 
but I want something now so I don't have to try and eat between the ride. Just trying to get on the road early today. It is 4, 10 a.m. In the car, before I forget to log it, a little peanut butter and honey sandwich. Kind of small before the ride, in between the lift and the ride. Delta G ketones. Okay, we made it back from the ride. Probably 3,000 KJs. Can have some grapes, eggs, two pieces of toast, and I just had a piece of bread with a bunch of honey on it and some orange juice. And I'll show you it in a second. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. These videos is quite difficult. I just had two of those little mandarin orange things. These are awesome. Chris, my husband, thinks it tastes like cardboard, so buyer beware. I'm gonna put some peanut butter on it with some honey. As you can tell, I eat a lot of peanut butter and honey. In small doses, kind of, not really. So FYI, this is very messy to eat. Okay, super fast lunch. I have the rest of those chickpeas, the other half of the can from the other night, chopped up two little mini peppers, a bunch of red onion, olive oil, salt, pepper. That's gonna be delicious. The leftover chicken. And then I gotta go out for a little bit. So I'm gonna bring an apple and I'll keep you up. Maybe some dates and almonds, just so I have food in case I get hungry. Don't wanna get hungry and have to buy something bean out. You can always bring it home with you. It's mango blueberry time. What's up, Lala? She wants some, wants some mango blueberries, pretty good. This is quite tiring recording everything. Hummus and bread. Okay, so I had a little recording fatigue. When Chris and I got dinner, I got fajitas, which was some really good chicken, a bunch of veggies. I screwed up and didn't order rice on the side, so that was an error. And then when I got home, I remember having a little snack, and I think it was just a slice of bread with some honey or something a little carby because Wednesday is when I do my endurance day, so don't need the carb load. Do want some carbs because it's going to be a four-hour ride. It's going to be 3,500 kJs. You're definitely burning carbs on an endurance ride as well as fat. It's never just one or the other. So that was a day of riding. You know, wake up and have a small amount of food before the gym. Have something small before the ride. Eat a 1,000 calories on the ride, maybe a little bit more, 1,200. Come home and then, you know, eat nutritious smaller meals you can have a big meal i had a good amount of food right after the ride and then you know a snack or two in between get to dinner have a good dinner and then you should be good to go go to bed if you if you're don't i don't go to bed hungry but i also definitely try to avoid going to bed feeling full and definitely not stuffed that's just not setting the body up for a great night's sleep from my experience everybody's different but yeah and if you feel like you ate too much, go for a 10 to 15 minute walk. It makes a huge difference. Hopefully this helps with your eating. Watts are made in the kitchen. Let's get it.